Victini, what is he doing? He just gave him a final smash! Victini, no! Star Fox, don't, please, this is my comeuppance for having a uh, an unseen gunman. He got the whole Star Fox team. I'm trying to be very careful that I jump over my gunman's shots because he really wants to. There we go. Last him. Talk about a gunman. The dog is shooting now. <laughs>
that touches it. So if I'm in there, it's his it's his Gardevoir, so I have to deal with the uh, my can just blowing up on me immediately. So that's cool. Ooh, bumpers. Nice throwback. Classic. Here we go. Duck Hunt has very slow smash attacks, but they can kill pretty early. I think it's around 40% uh, with rage and like 60% without rage. If you're at the edge, you can just F smash and, uh, oh no. No, 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 not when I'm off stage. <laughs> I have a hard enough time recovering with this character anyways, and then Skull Kid's here. Just making me feel bad that he's not in the game like people wanted. Mixing up my stuff, jeez. Duck Hunt, his biggest weakness has to be the recovery and maybe the light weight. And it's uh, it's a little rough when your opponent is that much better at uh, KOing when they have that aura. But yeah, because if the up B, it goes a good distance, it's just very, very vulnerable. And if you don't have good can, you know, coverage on yourself, I, f I feel like Duck Hunt fluctuates. With can and doing everything right, it's one of the better recoveries. But if you're not using the can and you're just kind of doing whatever and trying to get back, it can be really, really bad. I do not want to get... Ah, man. <laughs> I do not want another one of those beams, but it might happen here. There we go. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I definitely need to get better <laughs> with items because I tried to throw my can out, as you do with Duck Hunt. And, uh, of course, that activated the final smash. I might not need it anyways. I have a good feeling that, uh, I, don't, well, I can just tell. I think we're in the lead here. So slow. <laughs> the stop I'm wondering if that stopwatch is actually a Zelda 1 stopwatch. Because that was, like, a thing that was in the first Zelda and then never really came back. But, oof. Man, what was I? I died at, I think that was, like, 50. And I'm going to blame Aura on that. I know Duck Hunt, I was just talking about him being able to kill near the ledge pretty well, but I think, yeah, the Aura was probably a factor and a decent bit of rage to boot. Is this that? Okay. I thought it was the banana gun. <laughs> just a banana peel like Diddy's. Okay, I'm going to be careful because <laughs> Steven is very very smash happy right now. I don't think he can angle that down, so I got lucky. There we go. All right. Have a smoke ball, buddy. Jeez. Definitely feeling better about this one. I uh, the, the Young Link I played last time was just juggling me like crazy, and uh, this feels a little little better. I'm definitely way more used to Duck Hunt, of course. You can see the movement and everything is a lot easier when you know the character, like the back of your hand, because you've played them since Super Smash Bros. 4. <laughs> it's been, yeah, how many years now? Jeez, probably five years. All right, there we go. I think I'm gonna stick with him because that went much, much better. And we actually continue on, which uh, we'll have to see who I'm playing next, but that was uh, not too bad. Plus two, okay. I shouldn't get cocky or anything because that wasn't the biggest lead ever, but we're gonna find our next opponent. All right, B-Rad is here with Fox. Probably, or another canine combat thing here. <laughs> Fox is related to dogs. More what I'm worried about outside of the illegal implications of dogs fighting, is Fox is such a good rushdown character. Not not necessarily the best in this game, but he's a, he's very good at getting in your face. And of course, Duck Hunt being a zoner, I do not want him in my face. I want to be able to set up my stuff and I have slower aerials and, and things like that. So we're gonna see how this goes. Ooh, jeez. I'm still getting used to online, so I'm gonna try my best, but it, yeah. If I'm not careful, luckily the side B, the clay pigeon, and the can do come out frame one. So if I'm stuck in something, I can kind of just use that to get out of stuff. Like you, I'm sure you've seen in the past, if you've watched my videos or just other duck hunts, the, uh, the ability to break out of combos with the can is crazy. You blow yourself up very much like Snake and uh, with his grenades to get out of stuff. Give me that. It can use, that's a great thing too, is the can comes out so good. If some, if he's pressuring me, like he really wanted that assist trophy, Sukupon, I think, from uh, Joy Mecha Fight. But he, he kind of pressured in. And I, even though I was holding an item, I was able to, <laughs> I'm just really fishing. That Lucario rubbed off on me. I, I was able to throw out my can and still hold on to the item, which not every character has that benefit of being able to, ooh, have a uh, projectile so that they don't have to have their aerials. Victini 
What is he doing? He just gave him a final smash! <laughs> Rictini! <laughs> no! <laughs> Star Fox, don't... Please, this is my comeuppance for having a uh, an unseen gunman. He got the whole Star Fox team coming after me. I'm on the big screen back there, though. <laughs> I, I got used to it, but I used to find Pokemon Stadium, especially when the game first came out, very, very distracting. Because I did not like seeing the, uh, the mirrored image back there, the zoomed in little uh, a scoreboard in the back. Jeez. Oh, it's like Fox transferred his fire to the soccer ball. <laughs> Ooh, I should get that sword. I should buy a <laughs> That's like the, I should buy a boat. I should buy a sword. I, I have a fake sword, but yeah. I was also gonna say B-Rad. That's obviously his name is Brad. But B-Rad, the, the house that I've been in for years here, longer than I uh, have been playing Duck Hunt, in the bathroom, one of the bathrooms, someone has carved the uh, the name B-Rad. So now, Danny, my, my girlfriend, and I we talk about how like B -Rad, the ghost of B-Rad, I think, is like in my bathroom watching us do our business. So I uh, hopefully, this isn't the B-Rad. He's not a ghost in the machine beating me up. He's even got knuckles in on it. Ooh, yeah. I can definitely, <laughs> later, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Very Sonic. Ah, was, I think that was the Beast Ball. <laughs> I really got to learn some of these new items because I just did not expect that to just fly. There it is. Okay. I parried the Beast Ball, I think. Again. Man. There we go. Oh, we reflected it. Okay. See, he knows. I might parry it, but he knows better what to do with it. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So hopefully this uh, this Fox player is not a bathroom ghost. I don't want to be Smirch B-Rad's good name by calling him that. <laughs> that is really unsafe to do because people can roll through your rapid jab if you hold that too long, but I figured I'd hold it. He, so he was right at the edge and I figured I'd see what he was gonna uh, do there. I'd love to get a final smash here if I could. Because I don't think I've, I haven't, I got one in the other match and I did not land it. Can we get it on him? Nope, I did that too early. Ah, I think the ducks are even bigger now. Very similar to Captain Falcons where you just kind of throw out a big thing. Ooh. Ah, oh, that is the worst. So when someone reflects your clay pigeon, because it's not under your control anymore, if you hit B to detonate it like you normally would want to, because you have to manually shoot it, you throw out... Oh my gosh, is that gonna... <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I was like, I'm not waiting for that. You can charge those so long. Uh, yeah, if, if somebody reflects your clay pigeon, you will throw out the can instead, and then it, the timing usually means you blow yourself up with your own can and pigeon at the same time, and it's really frustrating. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, when I play in person with people, I do turn my taunts off. I just add, I just kind of change the control pad to attack on the GameCube controller, just because I don't like, I don't usually taunt against people, but I also feel like, yeah, you can, you can cancel out of them, but they just get in the way at times. I'm trying to be very careful that I jump over my gunman's shots because he really wants to. There we go. Blast him. Talk about a gunman. The dog is shooting now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I gotta be careful about it. Reflected stuff. The pigeon's bad enough, but then the gunman will uh, shoot me and that extra damage and knockback will take me out often. Gotta be very careful. Yeah. That's, this definitely feels very online in ways that I'm not used to, like people standing there and charging their smash attack at the ledge forever. I was even doing it too. I'm caught up in the online play. Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm still... An, a big change for Duck Hunt in this game too is that you, you want to be able to... Oh my gosh. He's just shooting like crazy. Uh, you want to be able to grab someone and throw them into your can, but the only character that is affected by the the, beep, the special button also pummels when you have a grab now. And most people are not, most characters are not affected by that. There we go, I got him. The posse, NES gunman posse, I think it's called something NES posse. He d does the laugh. Um, but yeah, the, uh, <laughs> threw him off so much. He just got stuck under the stage. But it's a little annoying that yeah, I, I don't want to pummel when I'm grabbing someone and throw, throwing them into the can because they can break out easier. So it is a, a little unfortunate. I don't think any other character can act while they're pummeling, or like while they have someone grabbed. 
the uh, the only reason Duck Hunt can do that is because the gunman is firing on the can, so you can move it when you're you know taunting, when you're doing anything. It's really that's kind of the the bread and butter of the character that I really enjoy is saving myself with the can and yeah, just doing all the can. She can't. Sh sh I almost said shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> uh, we're getting down to the. Uh, the last moments here, and I do not know. I really wish we could tell if we were ahead. That's one of the benefits of playing stock, is you know how well you're doing compared to your opponent. He had the banana gun. Almost broke my shield. But yeah, I really have no idea how this is going. So we're going to try our best. Gonna stall a little bit, because he could KO me a lot easier than I could get him. He really wants that one last one. He's going to stay in my jab. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I was jabbed. I should have thrown out the can. I put the gunman out. He knew exactly what to do. There's no sudden death in local multi, you know, in competitive Smash usually. So he just, he did his uh, Fox illusion right into me. It's so fast. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked this. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. Tragic end, but very fun. And I'll see you next time for more Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Goodbye.